YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. It has been a really long time, but the challenge wheel is finally back. We're bringing back the challenge wheel. If you don't know, uh, a long time ago, we used to do this all the time. We used to spin the wheel, and this wheel would be full of all kinds of weird and wacky challenges. And whatever the wheel landed on, we would usually spin a few challenges, and all these challenges combined would be the challenge that we did for that round. Now, we haven't done this in a very long time, but for nostalgia, month i was like what can we bring back that we haven't done in a while and immediately my mind went obviously the challenge wheel now i have brought the challenge wheel up to date with current standards i've thrown a lot of current challenges that we've done recently on there but also some old challenges that you might remember it's gonna be fun i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it but let's not waste any more time and let's spin the wheel right here so these are all the challenges now some of these require me to re-spin and combine them oh boy here we go oh my god we're starting with the one i threw on there just for memes because i was like <laughs> all right what a what a begin if you probably have never heard of this challenge this is the romantic dinner challenge which was a complete meme challenge we used to do back back in the back in old phasmo uh where you would basically loop the ghost every game the idea of this challenge is very silly we're gonna set up a romantic dinner table with candles and then we're gonna loop the ghost around it. That's literally the whole challenge. I guess we'll do it on nightmare mode. We're just gonna have some fun. Uh, let's do it on Ridgeview, because that is the place we used to do it. Let's just hop in and see what happens. Let's go. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. We got Donald Gacy. All right, so literally we're gonna rush this. We're gonna do this right away. We're gonna set up the candles. Oh, it's foggy by the way. Uh, and we're gonna find whatever cursed possession it is trigger the cursed possession and then loop and hopefully while doing the romantic romantic dinner with Donald right here uh, we are gonna figure out what goes to this which is obviously not guaranteed now we need to get rid of all the other plates because this is a romantic dinner there is only place for two people me and Donald right here uh, get everything else off of here get out of my face no no place for guests uh, can, can you tell that, uh, I used to be pretty desperate for content in this game? <laughs> it used to be very hard to make videos on this game, which doesn't necessarily, wasn't the fault of Phasmo. It was mostly my fault because I've made over a thousand Phasmo videos and there was way less content because we didn't used to have like custom difficulty and stuff like that. So it was very hard to make your own challenges which we still did we still made our own challenges uh but it wasn't as easy as now you can just like hop on you can just click uh, turn evidence down to zero hop in a game and do a no evidence challenge you have to like be creative about it and just ban all the evidence items uh, and we basically had to do all kind of, like all the challenges had to be self-inflicted um and it used to make it way harder to actually make videos on this game so i used to just do random shit like this do uh oh hi there i was checking for the for the the cursed possession but i guess i'll find a boner uh i used to just do random challenges like this to fill the void between videos because i mean i've been uploading two videos every day for so long now i don't even know how i used to because there was a time when i would just upload only phasmo I don't even know how that was possible. How did I possibly make two Phasmo videos for like the better part of like two years? <laughs> I made like literally like 365 times two, like I 800 Phasmo videos in a single year. That's fucking insanity, man. I'm gonna grab all the smudges because uh, back in the day, uh, there used to be no ghosts. Now the ghost didn't used to speed up. So. Uh, they would just be walking slowly towards you at a, like, slightly below player speed, and you would just, like, out-loop them. Uh, but that's no longer possible, so we're gonna have to now actually, uh, crouch down and use psycho tactics. Uh, and try and stay alive somehow. Let's see, is there a music box? There's no music box. Is there even a cursed position? What's going on? Do we have tarot cards? We don't have tarot cards. Where is the... Where's the monkey paw again? I forgot, is it? I forgot where the monkey paw is. I think it's upstairs. Oh yeah, it's over here. It's on in this room. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this uh, smudge stick down because I'm gonna have to grab. It's in this room, right? It's here. There's no monkey paw. Am I stupid? 
What is oh, it's a board! It's a board in the little thing, which is actually very fitting because the board used to be the only cursed possession that was in the game. I also think the ghost is extremely... Yeah, here it is. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. How many pickles can you fit up your butt? Where are you? <laughs> I swear it works sometimes. Wait. Where are you? Master bedroom. So it's back there. How many pickles can you fit up your ass? How many... Whatever. Uh, where are you? Where are you? All right, here we go. What could possibly go wrong? You want to join me for dinner, Donald? Hi there. Now, we're going to be doing a whole lot of challenges, as you can see by the length of this video. Uh, it's a phantom. Oh, it's not a phantom. Oh, God. Donald, no. <laughs> Please. Why are you making such a mess on the table? I worked for hours in the kitchen for this one. Oh, God. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, smudge! I got a smudge. What the oh, fuck? Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Help Donald now. Donald! How long is this fucking hunt? Please! <laughs> okay. I have genuinely no idea what this ghost is. Uh, I, we didn't see Obake. We didn't see Phantom. You see Oni? We need to turn on the lights for the... Uh, that's not part of the romantic. Oh, so you made a mess, dude. Oh, God. You made an absolute mess. Where? Where is the cuddlery? How are we supposed to have dinner like this? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say... Let's see. It, it's blowing out a lot of candles. I'm saying it's an Onryo. I'm out of here. That's 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 the challenge. That's all it is. You just you just loop it around the kitchen table and that's it. Now obviously this is, it used to be even now it's silly, but it used to be even more silly because there used to be no challenge because there was nothing like making it difficult. It was just it was just something that I came up with one day and made it into a challenge. But anyway, uh there you go. We're going to spin the wheel again and see what we get this time. Did I get it correct? It was the mimic! <laughs> it could have been so crazy. All right, anyway, let's spin again. What is it going to be this time? Romantic dinner winner. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. So now that could happen again. If it happens twice back to back, I'm going to veto it real quick. Uh, oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to have no sanity and we have to spin again. So this is like a baseline and then we'll add it to whatever we get now. So here we go. <laughs> uh oh, this could be really, really bad. There's some insane challenges on here. No, fuck off. <laughs> I am spinning again. No, <laughs> how is this possible? <laughs> That's stupid. There's so much shit on here. Oh no, come on. Insanity plus random map. Okay, here we go. So. No sanity, insanity mode, plus random map. Oh boy, here we go. This is gonna be a complete disaster. All right, well, that was, uh, man, imagine it was a crazy ghost right there. Okay, so we're gonna say, so I have to I have to do a, a custom difficulty and then we'll just load in insanity and we'll set our sanity down to nothing. That's so much money, holy shit. And then we'll click random. Now, pray that this is not going to be sunny meadows or some bullshit but here we go we could still loop the ghost around the table if it's a applicable map we'll, we'll 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 see here we go please oh it's restricted at least okay it's restricted at least why not dinner because we already did it okay sunny meadows restricted it's not too bad but we do have zero sanity which is going to be pretty damn annoying and it's insanity mode oh god all right here we go josephine jones Obviously, I'm immediately gonna start with a smudge stick because I have no idea where this ghost is. Now, the previous challenge was a meme challenge, so there wasn't really anything else besides just doing the meme challenge. But here, we're obviously going to try and actually, like, find the ghost, figure out what it is. Uh, all right, turn on the breaker. Almost literally every challenge except the romantic dinner is a challenge where we want to figure out the ghost. Uh, I, I only threw romantic dinner on there for the off chance that it pick it. 
and I could talk about how we used to do absolutely stupid challenges. <laughs> okay, where's the ghost? Hello? I didn't ring the bell, I'm gonna die. Worst challenge on the wheel? I think the worst challenge on the wheel might be the three items challenge where I have to pick three items and I have to go into the map and I can't leave until I figure out what the ghost is. Oh. Turn off the light. Because the hunt ended. It's just gonna be a disaster. Alright, ghost. Where are you at? I'm assuming you're just down this hallway. Demon. It's not a demon, we're at zero sanity, my friend. Do you remember? Hello? That looks messy. Anyone here? The other, so, obviously Sunny Meadows is a better map overall than Asylum, just purely based off of the absolute insane amount of details on this map. However, the one thing I really do not like compared to Old Asylum is the locking of the, the, the like, wings. It's so annoying, and it more often than not just, like, locks you out of the ghost room and just creates, like... The situation where you just have to wait at the doors until you like until the hunt ends and you can get to the ghost which is just really annoying is there no ghost oh god uh oh uh oh wait i have a plan look at this it's ridiculous okay what do we got right here oh the hunts are extremely short you can actually the ghost cannot get through this, so if you stand over here, the ghost will go this way. If you stand over here, the ghost will go this way, so you can, like, ping-pong it back and forth, walking between these. <laughs> walking, walking over there. The fan you barely- was it a phantom? Let me turn on the lights and get another hunt. This is fucked, dude. What? We went from complete memes to complete disaster. Can't wait what the next challenge holds. Turn this stuff on. Romantic dinner. I guess it's technically... I mean, it's as romantic as it's gonna get on Asylum. But Pichu, thank you for the five months. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Hello, ghost. You please? This is such a shitty ghost room. Good God, man. You in here? No lights. I think you're in here all the way. Hello? Is anyone here? Wake up! What? Is it a shade? This is some weird stuff the shade that's just like not hunting because i'm close to it hey house thank you for the 13 okay yeah i think it's normal speed totally normal blinking i don't know why you guys were saying it's a Normal. It's not an Oni, not a Phantom, not an Obake. I'm just gonna smudge it real quick because I wanna have the smudge stick. Wait, did it not get smudged? Excuse me. What? Okay, we smudged it at 56.30. Um, let's just leave this here and we'll grab some. We'll grab some more stuff. Oh boy. This is gonna be a tough one. We need to get one evidence. This was not supposed to go this way. <laughs> when I made this wheel, it wasn't supposed to be so mean. We'll see, though. We'll, 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 we'll manage. What are we looking for? Uh, are we actually going to get an evidence, or are we just going to do pure... But no evidence is going to be really hard. What a shitty position for the ghost to be in. Let's just grab some basic stuff. Can we do... Now, uh, let's just look for orbs. For orbs and fingerprints, those are relatively doable. Oh boy. 
Grandma, what what are you up to? So the ghost could hunt in 30 seconds if it's anything besides um besides a spirit. If it's a demon, it could hunt now. It hasn't turned off the breaker, which is suspicious. Not really. Oh boy. Love when you get close to the wind, though. It's the only time you can hear the rain. You can slightly hear the rain. Okay, please give me something good. Give me orbs right away. Be nice. Okay, no orbs. No freezing, right? No. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Ow! Oh, no. Uh! Holy shit. So stupid. It's like the only thing I can do here to avoid getting murdered. It's no Raichu, no Revenant, no Moroi, no Say. Okay, let's let's drop this here. It, it needs to touch a door. Cause there's no door in that ghost room. I'm just gonna quickly run out of here. So it's no spirit. Let's just leave so we can rule out some ghosts. Cause there's actually a lot of information that we have. This is, it's pretty romantic, don't you think? How do I open the door so fast? It just turned off the breaker. It's also not a hauntu. Or uh, not a jinn. Potentially a hauntu. We're going places. We're slowly but surely figuring it out. Don't tell me you hunted before. Okay, go, go, go. Get out of here. Okay, so let's go over it. No spirit. No phantom, no gin, no rev, probably no shade, but could be, so let's leave that. No oni, no ha, huh? no, could be hantu. No myling, right? No myling, no, probably no twins, no raichu, no mimic, cause no orbs, no moroi, no dio, no thay, no obake. That's actually a lot of ghosts ruled out, but it could obviously be a disaster ghost. We, we have a good camera right now, don't we? This one? Yeah, let's go. We should set up a... If it's a Gorio, it's actually going to be real easy. Uh, let's set up this and do this. Good God, man. No, huh? Oh, no, Hantu, because it's sped up. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Very correct. Very correcto. Okay. Okay. Poltergeist is definitely still possible. We didn't really do a polter test at all. We should throw some items on the... Wait. What did I just hear? I just heard it turn on something. Don't you dare close the door in my face. Thank you. What did it just do? It just turned on like a uh, metronome maybe? Don't do it. Or teleport? No way. That would be so good. Uh, turn on the light. Aha. Uh -huh. No mare. That's good. Where? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Are you stupid? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up, dude. Don't come back here. I actually am gonna live. Holy shit, I'm insane. No, no, no. It's a cursed item. There's, it's insanity mode. There's no cursed item. You can't believe I lived. <laughs> Potentially. Dude, I made it. What the hell is this light? <laughs> okay, so it hunted from out there. That's insanely rude. 
That's insano rude. But that might mean shade stuff? Like, what am I supposed to do with that info? Do I have a spirit box? Where's my spirit box? Where did I throw it? I threw the spirit box on the ground. So there. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Oh, let's go! Holy shit. Okay, okay. This is not a drill. Wraith, Poltergeist, Yokai on Rio. Okay. Uh, we need to grab a smudge and then we can do a Yokai test. You know what? I'm doing the unthinkable. It's stupid as hell. I'm leaving my flashlight here. I'm gonna perish. And then we are. This is so stupid. I made it through. Okay. And now we're gonna take a smudge stick as well as some salt. So we can rule out Wraith, potentially. Oh boy. Do you know what the skull is at level 100? What do you mean? Oh, I think you're talking about the skull at the difficulty. It means that if you select that difficulty and go to Sunny Meadows, you can get the trophy of the color of the skull. So if it's like a bronze skull, you can get the bronze trophy. That's how how you can see that. Okay, um, let's grab this. We already have a lighter in there, so we're going to grab this and this. Should we have a... Polter Poltergeist will be very interesting. Let's go. It's my favorite football and soccer club. None of them. I do not give a shit. Expect Wraith. Oh, come on! <laughs> so annoying. I can't even go over here. Up. Yeah, we don't have a cursed possession because we have a cursed boner though <laughs> What the fuck I've been told you can hide behind the crucifix. I'm pretty sure you can't but sure I'm here Nice boner all right Could be dumb or soon I didn't there's no cursed hunts and this technically is a small map, so the hunts don't last very long, which is actually really nice. Okay, there's the... I'm gonna leave one smudge here, then. We don't even need to check for fingerprints anymore, because it's definitely not a mimic. You just need to put... I was really thinking it's a Gorio, but... Not. I'm gonna place two... Two of this and then keep the rest of the salt so that if it does a ghost event, I can make it step in. Oh. It's a wraith! Eat shit! <laughs> it should be a wraith. It walked towards me and it didn't step in my salt. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Let's go. <laughs> go, go, go. And it also really felt like a wraith because that would it would explain why it was in different random positions. Unless it's a, a random yokai allergic for salt. But I'm out of here. Please let me escape. I should have smudged just randomly. Okay, let's go. All right, well, that was, that could have been worse, definitely, but oh boy. I mean, you really hope for a challenge like this that you just get like a easy peasy phantom or something, but no. Yeah, unless it somehow sidestepped the salt, but I doubt it. That would be crazy. That'd be very smart. Oh my god. <laughs> How did it not step in the salt? I put, I stopped, I put it right there on the corner of the bookshelf and then I walked backwards and it went through uh, uh, besides the bookshelf touching me 
and doing the like hey sound and it didn't step in the salt somehow how the fuck all right well anyway uh that's that's just well played what can i say that would have been the most annoying out of all of them anyway because this would have basically meant we would have to rule out every other ghost and then bring in a bunch of candles and crucifixes and all kind of bullshit so that's just that's just unlucky anyway uh moving on please do not whatever you do do not give me the the romantic dinner you son of a sack no sanity just no sanity so there's two of these there is just no sanity and there's no sanity plus spin again so we got the lucky one all right nice it's just no sanity and if it is nothing else like if it just um if there is no uh we i think i'm actually gonna just do I think i'm just gonna do nightmare i think I, I think i originally planned to do professional for this but we'll just do nightmare uh nightmare no sanity uh shouldn't be too big of a deal but i've i've been wrong i've been known to be wrong uh how much money is that that's 5.18 pretty nice uh so yeah we can pick the map for this one so i'm just gonna after all that madness i'm just gonna pick tanglewood keep it nice and simple our work thank you for the five gift subs thank you uh so yeah we got Eva, Eva Manson. Oh boy. So it's just no sanity. That's all it is. So first of all, obviously, we got to quickly check if it's an obvious ghost. Oh, it's not all no sanity challenges, by the way. It's just uh, unlucky that we rolled them. Oh, it's back there. Wait, that means I can smudge. And that means we got... I smudged at 109. Uh for nine minutes here so we can quickly grab the two evidence maybe favorite map i mean i'm a boring bitch call me boring but my favorite map has got to be tanglewood just because like if the the reason why it's not my favorite map in terms of like the way it looks but if i had to pick a single map that i would have to play on for the rest of phasmo's eternity it'd be tangled but like in terms of in terms of uh style i think i really really i really like maple lodge uh fun fact maple lodge was actually conceived by yours truly i was having a conversation with cj about how cool a camp site map would be and he was like hold my beer i'll make one <laughs> So, if you hate Maple Lodge, uh, sorry. <laughs> I apologize or something. Peniella, thank you for the eight months. <laughs> but I think it, like, graphically worked out exactly as I, as I hoped. Because the reason I found the idea of a campsite map so cool is because for the first time, the one thing that was not explored at all up until the campsite map was you oh, was using the outside ambience because especially with the weather system there's so many cool outside ambiences that are just like almost entirely unused because you just walk into the house and then you don't have to deal with it um whereas on on a map like on their campsite map you'd actually have to be outside and deal with the elements which is kind of like an additional challenge uh, I definitely feel like Maple Lodge should have a higher reward than it does. And just, like, going, like, around Maple Lodge and then going into the cabin, it just, I don't know. It has a very comfy feel to it. I really like it. Where are you? Are you here? Are you... You're not even here, though. You suck. You suck. Camp Woodwind was not my idea. No. And Woodwind is my least favorite map. Spooky, thank you for the three. Alani, thank you for the five. Um, so you cannot blame me for Camp Woodwind. I mean, maybe inadvertently I was responsible for it existing, but I'm not. I don't take responsibility for that one. That's that's not my fault. Okay, we'll be we'll be fine. Really turn on the breaker. Is it just living room? Oh, no, because we're playing Nightmare, it's going to be roaming all the time. Is this probably still... No. No. 
Handsome, thank you for the five. All right, please tell me the break. It's in the basement. What? It's some kind of wraith or something. Wraith or phantom? How did it get to me? Oh no. Oh no. Hotel. Hotel could have a spa and a restaurant and a gift shop. I definitely... So in terms of overall campsite design, I hate to admit it, but I think this as a ghost has a better campsite than Phasmo. But that's purely for nostalgic reasons, because the campsite in uh, in This Is A Ghost really feels like a classic, like, French campsite. And when I was a kid, I mostly went to France or, like, I Italy for, for vacations. So I've spent a lot of time on French camp campgrounds, and they really nailed the atmosphere of it. So like, like having the having the convenience store and like the the play like the the show the podiums the like stage where they do like little shows and stuff where you can do karaoke and and things like that. It's like I really, especially in France, you really have that. Oh god. Wait, what? You're now upstairs. You suck. Fuck this ghost. Coffee again, thank you for the 10. What the fuck is this Romy bitch? Now he's in the dining room. Yeah, Maple Lodge also doesn't have caravans, which is what I... I would always stay in a caravan when we would go to a campsite. That's also... Is that a very French thing or is that just the campsites my parents chose? To have like... These like stationary caravan campgrounds. have like uh the luxury of a regular bed uh far from home okay i need these very european childhood memories i used to always be the kid that wanted to like stay on the camping to be <laughs> in the swimming pool <laughs> That's the thing, they don't have a swimming pool in the... Oh. Are you fucking joking? Eat shit. This is so stupid. It's like going up and down and up and down and up and down. Ah. Good God, man. Fucking hell. You didn't do swimming in lakes? No, no, no. I would go... We would go to... Campings with a swimming pool. Not a Gorio. Yeah, most certainly not a Gorio. Okay, I, I should just loop the ghost. Okay, here we go. Can you please, like, not be such a bitch? At least I have everything set up in the basement. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? And now it's gonna hunt from upstairs. I swear to God. Oh yeah, it's not an Oni because it did a air ball. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? Okay, it's not that. It's also not freezing. Check for- What the fuck? <laughs> That's not how that works. Okay. My camera. Did I even have a cam? Oh, I already put it down there. Where? Should touch this door? I don't know, man. Oh, there it is. In before actual Gorio dots. You give us a sign. Do not roam. Okay, we gotta actually like prepare for a potential shitty roam. We need to take this and a lighter. It made a big mess of this place. Oh, come on. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It just threw this. What am I supposed to do with this bitch? Can you give me a sign? It's like twins. Twins business. It's nightmare mode, not insanity. Why are we getting no evidence? This is really weird. Let's just loop it. This is strange. Maybe it's like an obake? That could explain why we don't get any evidence. Or actually, wait a minute. If it is, using crucifixes down here is probably the twins. It's actually probably the twins. Which means... Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? It's riding! Uh-huh. Never mind that. It's not a Dio or a Mora, because no spirit box. It's not a Rev, because we heard it walk, not a Thay. Maybe Poltergeist? Maybe a Poltergeist is just, like, so aggressive that it throws stuff. Let's see. Let's just set up a Poltergeist party. Over here. Gonna make this ghost very happy. I think I can actually like almost I think with two hands I can count the amount of times I've seen like a great polter explosion it's kind of wild because I played this game for like 2,000 hours but they're they're pretty rare you can just gotta take the time like you can always for if you have a polter guys you can make it happen if you have enough patience but I've definitely tried and like had to wait for like 30 minutes or something to see it happen all right you're using the cruiser probably no? Are you down here? You having a good time here? It's not orbs, it's not freezing, it's not... Chilling. Probably EMF5, maybe? I think it's... Ah, there you go. Ah! Ghost event? I think. Pretty sure it's a ghost event. Is it? Nope. Nope! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so EMF 5 and this. Ah! What the fuck was that? It's not a bolter, but damn, that was pretty impressive. Okay, we got a smut. Oh my god, run into the basement. <laughs> okay, smudge the 2020. Did that work? I'm assuming that worked. Wait, uh. It's not a shade. Uh, actually, I was zero sanity, so. Maybe. It is, like, pretty much a classic spirit, though. In terms of, like, behavior. It's just like all over the place. Grab these two. Oh yeah, it hunted from the same room. As long as that's working, it shouldn't have been a spirit or a shade. Good, good. This is our ultimate test. I mean, it's so far it's been working. Every time I had to do a test like that, it's, it's usually worked out. So I'm gonna assume it just works. It just works. It doesn't work in the basement. That doesn't make any sense. Can you give us a sign? Okay, um... Miling... Oh, let's see. It's been... 10 seconds and then it can hunt. What are you doing? Okay, Jay, thank you for the five gifts of... It's just like chilling on this chair for eternity. Gonna do it again. These are some, these are like the hardest evidences in the game. EMF and ghost writing, how rude. There we go. Okay. Uh, we need to do a miling test. Wait, did you use the cruiser? It, uh, wait. Okay, let's smudge again. So we smudged at 2210. If the smudge stick hit 
it shouldn't be a spear, but I don't know if it hit right. Because it might have missed. I was... How could I have missed? I smudged right here. And then I ran down into the... I feel like it almost has to have worked, but you'd never know. Like, it's been... Are you fucking playing instruments over here? Boom, boom. Looks... <laughs> Look, sometimes thank you for the 20 or 2,000 biddies. Do it again. I wish I could do it too. It's a musical ghost. Alright, give us a sign. You throw the writing book. Oh, there it is. You're making a mess. It's actually such an active ghost. I need to... If we just get it to hunt as well. Um... What's our cursed possession? What it what's the cursed possession? Gotta be like music box or some bullshit. Music box, okay, that's fine. We can use that in a sec here. We just need to get another hunt. I don't feel like it was a miling though, that's a problem. I don't remember it being super quiet. But I guess it was quiet. I thought it was pretty loud. Yeah, I thought I could hear the footsteps just fine. Oh, it can't be a spirit unless I missed a smudge stick twice. It's clearly not a miling though. Wait, it's a shade? Wait, it's a shade? It's a sh it's either a bug spirit or a bug shade. It's a win-win for me, because I get to blame the devs no matter what it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Bugs Bug Shade on this one. Because <laughs> I smudged that 30 or 23. Yeah. I think so. Was that? It might be a... It's gotta be a, a bugged spirit. I think I just somehow missed the missed the smudge stick twice. It's definitely not a miling. That's the only thing we're sure. What the fuck? But it's it's hunted so many times while I was in the ghost room. So it has to be like turbo bug. It has to be like turbo bug. Well, you smudged at the start to win it, Hunter, after one and a half minutes. Okay. I guess it's a turbo bug shade. I don't know. That is crazy. So, so it's literally what I ex is it though? Let's let's see. It's right to home when I was in the basement. Multiple times, multiple times did it do it. That is so stupid. <laughs> so. Three times did it try to hunt while I was in the basement, and that is supposed to be not a thing. So I told you, I've been saying for the longest time that I do not trust the shade hidden ability that it doesn't hunt when you're in the room, because I feel like I had it happen to me, but I have been like paying attention ever since and it never happened. Finally, we have proof Total proof that it is not working. So yeah, maybe it, maybe it doesn't work in the basement, but then it doesn't work. Like the the the, the point is that it still doesn't work. Anyway, okay, let's spin again. That was uh, very weird. We no, <laughs> I am getting it off the wheel. I am done with you. <laughs> Get it out of here. <laughs> I have done it already. <laughs> you piece of shit. Ghost get okay. We'll do romantic dinner challenge plus ghost gambling. How about that one? All right, you you win, you win. But now I gotta set up. Now I gotta grab the other wheel. Ghost. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so if you've never seen ghost gambling, uh, it's just a fun thing we do where we'll spin this wheel with all the ghosts on it, and whatever ghost the wheel lands on, we'll do a poll in chat. The twins. Okay, the twins. Here we go. We'll do a poll in chat and let's just focus because the twins is kind of a sneaky one for that's a hard one for 
for distinguishing it with yeah, i guess we could do it with just one hunt we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out let's do it. let's actually get everything out of here though i don't want to do any bullshit anymore nightmare mode thank you okay nightmare mode we're gonna go to willow we can loop on willow yeah we can loop on Willow. well where are we gonna eat though do we do grafton there's no romantic let's do grafton grafton as a table let's do romantic dinner on grafton i think that's uh, one of the only other maps because we just went to tanglewood ellie thank you for the six Oh my god. Okay. Alright, the poll has been done, and here we go. So, will it be the twins? 8%, you can see it's on the chat. 8% says yes. 92% says no. Warren Souls with the 2,000 or 250,000 bet. And then we have a whole lot of doubters. Alright, we'll see how this pans out. Uh, oh boy, here we go. Uh, we got Lisa! <laughs> What? Are you kidding me? Alex said it. Thank you. Romantic dinner with Lisa and ghost gambling. What the fuck is going on? Dude, this is a this is one hell of a video. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we gotta set up the romantic dinner table. Now I'm not gonna so I think we're gonna change it here slightly to keep it in in line with our usual ghost gambling I'm setting up the table because we're gonna have a romantic dinner with Lisa, but uh, We will also like do normal ghost gambling because I don't just want to immediately trigger a hunt and like ruin the ghost gambling um, So we're gonna We're gonna find the ghost first, but we'll set up the the table right away so we can loop in case it in case we get an early hunt somehow. <clears throat> All right. We need to set it up properly because this is this is no table for Elisa. Put. We'll sit here next to each other because there's only really two chairs right here. This chair is a bit fucked up. All right. Throw the rest all off the table. We are sophisticated. We are drinking straight from the bottle. <laughs> no, we're not drinking straight from the bottle. Here you go. I got a cup. That one. Okay, whatever. I can't set it up. I, there's only... Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I, I lost it. Whatever. Uh, no cups. There. Okay, that's our that's our romantic dinner. No forks, no spoons, no nothing. Just two bottles and a plate. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave this here because we're going to need it probably because by the time we're going to get a hunt, it's going to... And pickles. <laughs> we're just going to eat pickles from the jar. <laughs> <laughs> beer and pickles all right this is cursed grab this stuff what are we looking for so it's the twin we are supposed we're thinking it's the twins but we're looking for emf freezing and spear box <clears throat> oh boy all right ghost where you at hello that door is suspiciously open you in here? Lisa? Lisa Johnson? It's the cursed item. We'll see. I don't know yet. It was the door. It was the door? It was the door? It was not the door? Wraith? <laughs> Excuse me, what was that? Lisa? Found the boner. I found the cursed item, which I hate this cursed item. It's in here. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be Wraith. I didn't even know you could throw that bucket. Did you throw this? Yes, you did. Okay, let's uh, get some stuff. Not freezing in here, which is already a little concerning. <laughs> but I believe. I believe. The be Dude, imagine we get Believer win on against Lisa. Hello Steel, thank you for the three. That's gotta happen. Okay, I'm gonna grab, already put a camera in there. Grab spirit box and then I think it did touch a door potentially. He's just playing hard to get. Fun to believe. It is fun to believe. It's gonna show us orbs and we're gonna be like, wah. All right, Lisa. What do you got for me? It's so dark in here. What the fuck? No! Lisa, why? 
All right, rip. Rip. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not looking at any evidence. We just know it's orbs. Now, it's not freezing, so I'm going to rule out Hauntu. But that's all. Everything else will stay on. I'm sorry, believers, but that's a big no. Orange Souls, thank you for the tier 330. I'm sorry for your believer loss. All right, so now we're going to respin. We're going to redo the wheel, copy the wheel. Uh, and I'm going to take off all the ghosts that it can't be. So, well, I'm going to put on the ghosts that it still can't be. Mare, uh, Revenant, Yure, Yokai, Onryo, Raichu, Obake, they and the Mimic. Because we only saw we only saw orbs, so it could still be the mimic. Okay. Here we go. We get to respin. The mimic <laughs> spicy. Alrighty, do you believe that it is a mimic? I'm gonna pull up the believers immediately. I wanna see it live. Will it be a mimic? Look at this look at this tug of war. The tug of war between the believers and the doubters. I think the believe the doubters are winning. <laughs> Holy shit. They are heavily winning. What the fuck? Good god, man. These odds are actually kinda kinda solid. <laughs> we have three four hundred doubters. And in terms of numbers, like in terms of people, there's only 30 more doubters. But in terms of like points there is way more <laughs> doubters okay we'll see how this goes Il Mimo. now we didn't see freezing which is obviously one of the evidences of a mimic so that's a bit unfortunate but we'll maybe it was maybe it's gonna be a haunt to imagine i can't believe it's lisa taking a screenshot lisa johnson all right let's uh grab this and then we'll just grab this what what could happen Diamond, thank you for the five months. Very confident doubting. I mean, we're only... Uh, unless the wheel keeps spinning ghost gambling, which would be very, very funny. Uh, this, this is going to be just a one-off. So don't, don't go thinking long-term strategy. Think short-term strategy. All right, I need to check for fingers, although we're probably not going to have any because they didn't do anything. Okay, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Uh-oh. Where are you? Uh, let's go. It can't be this. Okay, okay. We just need fingerprints. Mayor, Yokai, on Rio, or the Mimic. We just need fingerprints. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Okay, so that's actually really good. <laughs> so we don't still don't have freezing. I just need to touch this door. Did you touch this door? Dude, imagine. Give us the fingies. So we're playing on nightmare mode, so we only get two evidence. Can you do something? Can I be like the the meme where you step on the, the rake and it smacks you in the face? Poor dog, take you with a four. Alright, come on, guys. Lisa, do something. Lisa! Lisa Johnson, could you do something? Rio or Yoka? I should set up some candles just in case it is. Well, I should get it to touch the door. What if we just. Let's see. Let's just, let's just go grab some candles. Wait, we don't have any candles because they're all. <laughs> they're all on the table. <laughs> That's so stupid. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> the fucking dinner table. <laughs> Can you give us a sign? Do something, you bitch! He hates me. Not doing anything. You have one candle left, do I? Is there one candle on this map? Can I do something? Hello? Alright, I think it's time to just light the candles or something. Cause this is getting nowhere. I should also find the breaker. Is there a white candle? Oh, there is! Oh, no, no, no. There's one candle here. We have one candle. Let's quickly check for... Oh, McCory, thank you for the five. Quickly check for breaker. 
Lisa is not a shade, I repeat. I mean, not an Oni either, but... Is this Lisa? Yes, it is. Oh, God. Well... Here goes. I don't have any smudge sticks or anything. Fuck. Uh-oh. Lisa! Lisa, no! What the fuck? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna perish. Oh, I lived? It's for Lisa. Okay, uh, what the hell the table was? Oh yeah, this is because there was only a few things on the table. Okay, um, there's not really anything we can do here. She's tiny. Um, we need to do a yokai test. And then on Rio, we just need to set up a candle on a crucifix. The crucifix didn't even stop Lisa. She's crazy. Um, imagine it's a... It could actually be a mimic. <laughs> Wait a minute. That would be insane believer win. Holy shit. Gonna happen. Did you touch any of these doors? Let's see. Come on. Come on. No, no, I don't know if it touched these doors. I don't think it did. Come on. I hope it didn't for your sake. <laughs> okay, let's uh, grab this guy. Special candle. Don't hunt, don't hunt. Sir, where's my lighter? There's, wait, what? Oh, I still have my lighter. There we go, okay. Now, use the... Is it a... Wait a minute, is it a mare? Oh, no, come on. Don't you dare. What the fuck? Kind of creepy. We're gonna leave. Run! Okay, what's my say? Oh, I can't see my sanity because it's fucking... Nightmare mode. Hang it. You can use the candles. Dude, may, probably. Using the candles from the summoning circle as a way to stop. That is some five head shit right there. Using the candle from the summoning circle to stop an Onrio from hunting in the attic. That's insane. <laughs> That's big brain. I should don't even need this. I need another. You know what? Why don't we literally do that? <laughs> That's actually five head strats. We're gonna use a thing and then we'll set up a wait a minute. <laughs> I want to know if this works. It's just gonna blow it out though, and then I'm gonna be like, oh, How do I relight this? I don't have sanity. Is it gonna go back to its ghost room though? Okay. We put this here. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> that's, I never would have thought of that. Crazy strats. All right, give us a sign. Are the orbs still here? Okay, orbs are still here. That's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, I blew up the can. It might be on Rio. Oh, no. No. No! Do not. I repeat, do not. Give me a sign. Come on, don't do it. Don't give the satisfaction to the doubters. Put the nail in the coffin. Fuck, you trying to saw me? Give me a sign. Do it again. I know it takes like 20 seconds. I really want to see this use it. Oh, hi there. <laughs> this is fucked. Give me a sign. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> blow out this candle and then what <laughs> i guess i could stand on this with my own i don't even know if this necessarily works this would be a great test a great test to see if this is like something you can actually do what the fuck lisa what's wrong with you 
Oh no. Definitely blowing out the candle. A lot. It's going crazy on the candle. And it's not hunting right now, which is very concerning. Uh-oh. I touched the door! No, the moment of truth. Come on, come on. What? How? It's, it tries to stop me. What the fuck? It's hiding a secret. Oh no. I didn't even light the candles. I didn't even see this fucking... No! <laughs> okay. Stop crying. Okay, we need to check the doors up here. There should still be fingerprints. Is this an unreal? Is the candle blown out? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. But why? Wait. How did it hunt if there's no. How did it hunt if the crucifix didn't. Excuse me? What? Maybe? Maybe Obake. <laughs> Maybe Obake mimic. Oh. What the fuck? How? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Ghost! Ghost! Hello, hello! Okay, it's probably not a yokai. Have to do that test real quick. Okay. Not a yokai. Uh this if this is a fucking mare, we got so trolled. I'm gonna say it's an unreal. It could still technically be a mimic. In like insanely rare. I think it's a mare. How did it blow out the candle and then immediately use the thing? And then after that, it didn't hunt on the candles. It's like ridiculous. I mean, people are saying it's a mare, so I have to stick around. It's a mare. All right. All right. I'll say it's a mare. You have it your way. Then I could just point and laugh at you if it's wrong. And if it's right, I'll just take the credit. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> This is the perfect plan. <laughs> you see, you're stupid! Dumbass! <laughs> Idiots! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, well, it's not a mimic, sadly. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Alright, rip. <laughs> it's been. Let's forget that that ever happened. We're going back to the wheel, not the ghost wheel this time, but the challenge wheel. Uh, and seeing what the next challenge will hold. Here we go. Wait, I gotta check what the payout was there, but let's first see the wheel. Uh, it's gonna be... Oh boy, I love this challenge. Don't be starter items. No opening doors. This is actually, like, one of my favorite challenges just because it's so stupid. So, the way this works is that we cannot touch doors. We cannot open doors, except the front door. We can only open the front door. Every other door we cannot touch. That means that we have to get the ghost to touch the doors during a hunt to open them for us so we can get around the house. Like at the start, we'll just be like stuck. Uh, but anyway, let's see the payouts. Holy shit, there's actually 50K? 50K on a 250K bet. That's pretty solid. All right. <laughs> okay, so where are we gonna do this? We have historically done this on Willow because Willow is very stupid since, ha since it has the, um, like the living room is locked off. Let's just do Willow and then we're going to quickly do the, let's do this. Wait, 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 I got a plan. We're going to do some stupid stuff. We're going to do nightmare mode and we're going to, uh, lock all the doors. So we're going to say doors open at the start. We're going to say none which actually makes the game technically easier, but for us, it makes it harder. Uh, and then we're gonna add uh, curse possessions. We're gonna add more random curse possessions. Let's just add like three curse possessions, tarot cards, 
Let's just do tarot cards. Tarot cards and one other. Just so that we, in case we, like, don't get it to do something and get us out of the living room, we can just use the tarot cards uh, to try and get, like, a hunt or something. And maybe I'll die. It'll be funny. Anyway, let's hop in. Uh, this should, I mean, this doesn't have to be a very difficult challenge. No, music box is less interesting than tarot cards. Tarot cards for the memes. Okay, we got Shannon. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in there with anything because it doesn't matter. We can leave. You probably take. No, I'm not. Yeah, there's no predictions right now. Um, should probably take a smudge stick now that I think about it. <laughs> Seems like a better idea. Grab a smudge stick because we're gonna do some shenanigans here. Although I also want to take a ghost photo. If it if we get a devil card. Imagine we have both. No, we don't have both. Okay. Uh, let's quickly drop this here. Grab the other stuff. Now, if we get really lucky and we have a ghost in the living room here, this would be trivial, but you never know. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. All right. Hello, ghost. Where are you at? Are you over there? There's a bone. I can't reach it, though, because I cannot touch this door. I am not allowed to open this door. I don't hear anything. Let's try to get a tower card real quick, please. Please, no kill me card. I didn't even hear it. Oh! It touched your door, but that was really far. Uh-oh. <laughs> that would have actually been all right. Thought I saw it freezing there for a second. What is this? No, we're gonna get shitty deck. Fuck you. <laughs> Good God, man. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's fine. We at least we got. <laughs> There's one weird way to get zero sanity, but there we go. So this is the only door we're allowed to touch. We can leave through the main door, but every other door we're not allowed to- Ah! It's Raichu? Hello? Oh, it's fast. Oh, it's fast. Can you open this door for me real quick? Lady, open the door! Open the door! Okay, she left. <laughs> Why'd she open the door? Is it a thing? <laughs> Fuck, you just got... Oh, no, I can't turn it off! <laughs> this is so fucking annoying. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab these two. Good God, man. And then... I guess I'll grab all the smudge sticks. Good God, man. So it's either, I'm thinking it's a Thay. Probably not a Raichu because it sounded faster. Oh no, <laughs> it's fucked up. It's a Thay or a Moroi. Ghost, can you come over here? Can you open this door? Can you turn this shit off? I can't reach, this is fucked. I'm gonna hide in this corner. I guess I'll pull more cards. But what if I get? <laughs> Wait a minute, it's here. Open the door, please. Open the door. I'm gonna hide. Oh, hi! You closed the door. That's the opposite of what I want. Can I just take a photo of the tarot card. It's fucking stupid. Okay, ghost, you're here. Open the door. Stop doing shit. I guess I could grab some. Now that you're here. I could grab a spirit box because Moroi will always have spirit box. That's a strat. This is ridiculous. <laughs> the beauty nerd, thank you for the 30. Okay. Here it goes. Where are you? Fuck! This is pain! Spirit! Come over here! Open the fucking door! 
Let me in the garage so I can turn this fucking car off. This is torture. This is some advanced CIA torture. Spirit box. Yeah, I can turn that shit off though. Why are you in the basement? What are you doing? <laughs> what is going on? This is so annoying. Okay. Um, you know what we could do? We have sanity pills. We could just take in the sanity pills and then take them and see if it's a moroid. And otherwise it's just going to be a thay. I'm a genius. I don't want to use the, the tarot cards right now because if we get a sun card, we're actually fucked. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I apologize for the situation we find ourselves in. I can't do anything about it though. Alright, come on. Give me a sign. Can you chill? Right now, Drinker's offside could be a haunt too. I guess maybe. It's really fast though, but I guess. Alright, I'm pulling one card. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, it's a boy. Budget. All right, well, that was easy. <laughs> How what? How about you open the door, you bitch? Oh, oh, of course, they're disabled for really long. Open the damn door. What are you doing? Holy shit. That is... Why didn't they touch the door? It's just like old fastball. All right. Anyway, we know it's a moron. This challenge <laughs> went a in a completely different way than it's supposed to. I don't know why the door, why the ghost did not want to touch a single door during the hunt. That was ridiculous. There's even two doors right there. But anyway, we still figured it out. It's a moron. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a wraith that walked through doors. Because when we took the pills, it slowed down immediately. Unless it's somehow the twin or the mimic, but yeah, there you go. All right, that was a bit of a weird challenge, but we did it all the same. Uh, let's do another spin, which is gonna be. Uh oh, no, this could be so bad. <laughs> okay, a random big map plus whatever this is. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Are you kidding me, ghost gambling? <laughs> well, seems like the wheel has spoken, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. What? That's, that could have been so much worse. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we're doing it. I'm going to grab the wheel real quick. Here we go. It's your time again. <laughs> what are the chances? Okay, so we're going to spin, and it's going to be a... Or at least the wheel thinks it's gonna be a mare. All right, there you go. Now we have to spin. So mare is the one. Now we have to spin a uh, a map. Here we go. All right, which map are we gonna do? We are gonna do Maple Lodge. Okay. I was. I don't even know which one's better, Maple Lodge or Sunny Meadows. They're both pretty ass. All right. Maple Lodge. Now, this is going to be really spicy because getting evidence on a campsite map can be so difficult that it might just be hiding all the evidence from us. So we're going to play regular nightmare mode, which to remind you, by the way, I'm not. This is not rigged. This is not like there's so many damn challenges on this. Like, look at this list. There is no electronics, no evidence locked in, no hiding. Chat equals ears. Three item challenge. No opening door starter item. Nightmare, no sanity, no grace, thief, photo randomizer. There's so much stuff, stuff on here, yet we keep getting the same challenges somehow. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, uh, let's let I'll set up another. I set up a poll real quick. Give me a sec. Oh, it's uh, way more people voting this time. What the fuck? Fifteen or f fifteen million? Yeah. There's like half as many. What the hell? Believers. <laughs> what happened? There's six hundred doubters. And not even 300 believers. Holy shit. Warren Souls, though, again, coming back. All right. Well, those odds are pretty nuts. If we usually when we do ghost gambling, we see way better odds for the <laughs> for the or for the. Yeah, the believers are way more numerous, but we'll see. We got Holly five, five, nine, nine. 
So there's no other restrictions besides nightmare mode and uh, it being uh, it being Maple Lodge and obviously ghost gambling. So we're looking for mayor, right? So for mayor, what do we want to see? We want to see spirit box, ghost orbs, ghost writing. All right, spirit, where are you at? You mean mirror? That would actually be so good. Never mind then. It's actually kind of nice. You know what? Why do I? I'm not even gonna take a. I'm not even gonna take a flashlight. If you're gonna give me fog weather, I gotta take it. I'll just. I'll just use the fact that you can literally see in the dark. Like the the flashlight almost makes no difference. It almost makes it worse. Also, this this thing is lying to me. It's telling me that we're already on case 5,600, which is not true. No board. Hello, ghost. Where you at? Oh. It's back here. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you cursed? I don't know if it's actually here. Let's really grab some stuff because the teddy bear just giggled. I don't know if you could hear it. <laughs> Pretty damn cursed. Aramike is very good on big maps, especially. I mean, on small maps, it's not very useful usually, but on big maps, it can be very, very nice. Right, we really need to see orbs here or it's going to be a potential disaster unless it's not in this in this room which could be the case uh oh what the fuck nitrogen uh are you a hallway oh the slender oh my god hi there hi slendy how are you doing i love that detail <laughs> The found footage. Landy. Hey, where the fuck are you? Are you in here? Why does it mess up with the camera? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you even here? I'm confused. I'm gonna grab more stuff. Imagine eight pa they gotta do like a, an event one time where it's you have to collect eight pages on every map the slender event on like the I mean, I guess the 10 year anniversary was last year Crazy some of these games that we like Watched in our childhood are so old now Feel old yet slender is 11 years old FNAF is like almost 10 years Outlast is 10 years old. It's crazy. Where did the time go? I need a thermo as well. The, the one that, that like gets me the most is Outlast being 10 years old. That does not feel right. It doesn't feel like that game should be that old. Jurassic Park is 30 years, 30 years old today. Holy shit. Right, are you in here? Uh oh, it's definitely very cold here. You piece of shit. Are you just a, don't tell me. I did not even see this. This is the fucking light ball in there. Are you a Gorio? Are you a Gorio with, oh no, it's not so. Fuck me. <laughs> No! <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry, believers. Wait, is it freezing? I'm sorry, believers. I tried, okay? I believed. I don't know if there was fingerprints. I don't even know which ghost to put on the wheel now. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Stop. Is it cold here? It is freezing! Okay, okay, nice. Okay, Yure or Oni? <laughs> well, it's totally a fucking... I mean... Let's, let's just put both on there. Just fucking vote. 
Just vote on either of these. You get to decide. I'm gonna move away and you guys get to choose. We didn't get an air ball. I'm gonna get the- I don't know why I walked around like this. It's a you're right. Hey, I mean... Put your money where your mouth is, I would say. Okay, so... That was... Let me see. Do I get to see the payout there? That's probably a very pathetic payout. Oh, no. I was just, just a second too late. Okay, here we go. The tug of war between Oni and... <laughs> Oni and Yuri. Holy shit, it's actually way closer. Dude. Yuri Oni is actually winning? Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Oni is losing big time. Oni is losing very, very hard. Imagine it's just a slightly sly Oni just to fuck with everyone. Well, there you go. Okay, 70 to 30. That seems about right. I would say, if I were to put odds on this, I would probably say it's like... I would say it's like 75% chance of it being a Yure and 25 of being an Oni. I feel that's a pretty good guess, honestly. I think you guys got the odds just just right. Uh, let's, uh, what is our curse possession? We need to get a hunt. Get a hunt and then see the ghost. And then maybe loop it around the campfire. You clicked at random. Go team Yure. Where do I hide? There, potentially. No voodoo. <clears throat> you misclick. No tarot. Come on, ghost. Can you just hum me? It hasn't done a single ghost of in the time that we were in the ghost room, which was very suspicious, to be honest. Oh! Never mind. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is an Oni. <laughs> Could be an Oni. Uh-oh. Is it music box? It is music box. Okay. Wait, so what are we going to do with... I guess I just dropped my flashlight. Sure, I'll just drop my flashlight. You can pretty basically see. Anyway. Okay. Look at that nuclear tent right there. Run! Oh boy, here we go. Oh my god, it actually... I don't think so. Wait, is it? It's actually blinking a lot. Pretty visible. <laughs> but I think it's actually an Oni. <laughs> Dude, I think you guys have, have been got, man. I think so, yeah. This definitely looks like Oni. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? What a troll, man. What an absolute troll. Not doing any ghost events the whole time to mess with people. I mean, there's definitely some times where it's doing like a long period between between blinks, but we'll see. Oh, what the fuck? It's still going? Jesus, let me out of here. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to say Oni. But we're not gonna call the vote yet until we see the payout. Here we go. First hunt? Yeah, but that was insanely long. What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh boy. And there you go. It was only, oh boy. That's actually, I mean, I don't call it a believer win because the believers didn't win, but that's a, that's gonna be a big payout for the Oni. Oh my God, that's actually crazy. That's like a five, four X almost. Good God, man, that's crazy. <laughs> Holy shit, well, there you go. Well done, gamers. Okay, uh, let's see. I think actually, you know what? That was a very thematic 
uh wheel challenge we're gonna bring this back because we got very little challenges from the wheel <laughs> we only we got uh, the the wheels seem to want to do basically ghost gambling plus romantic dinner that was the only challenge if we kept getting back to back so we're gonna bring it back another time but i think this was a pretty pretty meaty challenge so far so yeah we're gonna call it here thank you so much for watching over on youtube i hope you enjoyed let me know do you like the challenge wheel it kind of gives some chaos some random random stuff to what we're doing uh you never know what's gonna happen next i think it's pretty it's a fun way to play it's obviously not something we should do every time but it's like a it's a neat little thing and and like stuff like this what happened here where it just like gives us the same challenge over and over again it just leads to like a storyline of some sort but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it and if you want to join the lovely gamers over here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye